Can you tell me why you decided to come out today? Yeah, I came out today because I first and foremost wholeheartedly believe that black lives matter um, without question and that all lives cannot matter until black lives matter. Um, but I also came out today because uh, we wanted to talk about accountability. Uh, we do not wish to wait any longer for recommendations to come down, for studies to be had, for uh, people to tell us how we do it. It's time to do it. We know what's out there. We know the research. Uh, we know what matters. So we're going to create a, uh, a civilian review board that has teeth. Um, and we want to talk about how we get to that point. And so that's why we gathered today. What changes, what additional changes are you hoping to make as a current council person? Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm going to be introducing some language around how we strengthen a civilian review board. And that review board uh, is going to be able to uh, subpoena any records that they're going to need. It's going to uh, be elected by people. It's going to, you know, I mean, there's a number of changes that we've, and recommendations that we found uh, and that we want to implement. So, um, you know, we're taking a look at what those are and I'll be working on it in council. Are you supportive of the plan to reduce police funding? I am, absolutely. You know, I mean, I think it's really a shame that we uh, have a lot of folks right now who are facing evictions, for instance, um, that are really struggling with their basic needs and they're not being met. And we have the resources available uh, to be allocating them and thinking about how we use them more wisely. And so, yeah, I'm absolutely in favor of rethinking how our budget as a city looks. So for those who may be critical of this cause and say Black Lives Matter is a Marxist group, mm -hmm. they hate police, mm -hmm. how do you respond to that? Yeah, I think the reality is that what we are talking about is love for our community, right? That we that we believe that uh, the lives of those that are around us, right, every day, really truly matter, and we accomplish uh, a society that is fair, that is equal, that is just by taking care of one another. And so this is about love. It's centered on love. This is not about hate. Um, you know, I mean the reality is when you have uh, a system that continually shows over and over again that there's bias out there that exists um, then a response is needed and so um, this is the response if you and Tony Villa who's running for Toledo City Council were to become colleagues how would you guys work together because you are wanting police reform mm -hmm. and he says police reform really isn't needed and that it's only a few bad apples yeah I mean here's the reality um, we can claim few bad apples all we want it's like when we see a mass shooting um, uh, and we see a young white guy that did it, for instance, right? What do they do? They always say, oh, he was troubled. Oh, it was this, right? But we don't think about what is actually driving people to those types, that level of violence, right? And the reality is um, that we can talk about bad apples here all we want, but without any accountability, without any ability to change, um, to reimagine what it looks like, nothing's going to change. So, you know, I have worked alongside my Republican colleagues very well um, on council. I work, I try to work with everybody. Why? Because uh, I truly believe that we have two ears and one mouth. I think I've said that to you before. Listening is important, um, but when we need to speak up, we're going to speak up.